this video, I will talk about the largest ring road in Afghanistan, the highway that connects the whole of Afghanistan. Afghanistan Ring Road is one of the biggest road construction projects in Afghanistan. This ring highway is considered one of the most important infrastructures of the country because the road acts like the blood vessels of the human body. If there are no roads in the regions of our country, those regions are paralyzed. If the infrastructure of road construction in Afghanistan is not implemented properly, our country will be paralyzed. Because without roads, no development can take place in the country. Just imagine in the areas where there are good roads. The people of the same areas are better from the economic point of view. Ring Road, Afghanistan is a single lane road with a length of about 3,360 kilometers that connects 16 provinces of Afghanistan. This highway starts from Kabul, and after passing through the provinces of Parwan, Baglan, Samangan, Balk, Jauzian, Faryab, Badgis, Herat, Farah, Helmand, Kandahar, Ghazni, and Wardak, it reaches Kabul again. More than two-thirds of Afghanistan's population lives at a distance of at least 50 kilometers from this highway. The mapping work, survey of the Kabul Shabargan Road started in 1342 with the cooperation of the former Soviet Union and the Kabul Kandahar Herat Highway in 1336 with the cooperation of the experts of the United States of America. The work of both roads was carried out under the administration of the Ministry of Public Welfare and the Afghan Army. Due to the smoothness of the land from Kabul to Herat, except for parts of Wardak province, the road construction work progressed quickly. But due to the mountainous areas north of Kabul to Mazar-e-Sharif, Maimoneh, and Herat, as well as the unrest in Afghanistan, the construction work was stopped at times. In early 1979, the total length of Afghanistan's roads was estimated to be approximately 18,500 kilometers of which 7,000 kilometers were tar, asphalt, and 8,700 kilometers were dirt roads. These roads connected 24 provinces. Only half of these roads could be used all year round. In addition, maintenance expenses were extremely low due to the low availability of vehicles and the ineffective tax collection system. The reconstruction of the Kabul Herat Road was completely stopped from 1359 to 1381 due to the war. The Kabul Shabargan Road was restarted by Russian experts in 1360, and the width of the road from Kabul to Jabal Siraj district was increased from 10 meters to 40 meters. Since 2001, the work on the Kaiser and Bala Margab Road, which is about 231 kilometers long, was stopped. At the time of the design of the Ring Road, the installation of electricity and railway poles was also considered on the side of this road. However, due to the mountainous nature of Afghanistan and the multi-purpose use of roads, the total cost of the Ring Highway was estimated at $3 billion, of which $2.5 billion have been spent on it so far. According to the CIA report, Afghanistan has 42,150 kilometers of roads. Among them, there are 12,350 kilometers of bitumen asphalt, and 29,800 kilometers of non-bitumen. This project has nine border branches in the city of Pulkumri. It is connected with the Pulkumri Kunz Shurkan Bandar Road, which is on the border of Tajikistan. And in Mazar-e-Sharif, it intersects with the Hiraitan Mazar-e-Sharif Road, which is on the border of Uzbekistan. In Ankoy, it connects Afghanistan to Turkmenistan through the Akne Road, and after reaching Herat, it intersects with the Herat Islam Kala Road and connects Afghanistan to Iran. In Farah, it connects Golbahar to Iran's Sistan and Baluchistan province with Bekwa Dalaram Zaranj Road 515. In Kandahar, it is connected to the Kandahar Spin Boldek Road and connects the Spin Boldek port with the Chaman port of Baluchistan, Pakistan. In the city of Kabul, one branch is connected to Jalalabad and Peshawar and the other branch is connected to Logar, Paktia, and Paktika. The construction work of this highway has been almost completed, except for the 231 kilometers between Maimin and Herat, which was stopped due to lack of security. The Ministry of Public Works of Afghanistan created its strategy in 2006. 
In this way, the highways of Afghanistan have been named in three ways. Regional roads, provincial roads, national roads. Afghanistan as a whole has an area of 650,000 square kilometers and a population of 33 million. And based on the country's area, population and studies conducted by the Japan International Cooperation Institute on how to maintain the road sector, it is estimated that Afghanistan has 34,782 kilometers of road network, including village roads. In addition, more than 85% of this network is in a very bad state and even a large part of it is not passable for vehicles. The total number of regional, national, and provincial highways identified for the purpose of development is around 17,500 kilometers. Ring Road in Afghanistan is a long route that starts from Kabul and connects 16 provinces of Afghanistan. Most of the people of Afghanistan live less than 50 kilometers from this road. This road is very important for example, it helps people to go to other parts of Afghanistan and pick up or bring goods. Also, this road can help the economic and social development of Afghanistan. But due to various problems such as war and instability, the development of this road has become difficult. Also, it takes a lot of money to build a better and better road and some parts are still not well developed. Do you believe that a road can have many effects? This road serves as a communication route between different provinces of Afghanistan. On the other hand, road development can have positive effects on society. For example, people can easily go to their workplaces and this can help to increase employment and economic development of the regions. Also, roads can help develop trade and exchanges with neighboring countries. However, road development also has its weaknesses. For example, if they are not well anticipated, natural resources may be destroyed along the road and the environment may be negatively affected. Also, if the importance of balance between development and environmental conservation is not considered, serious environmental problems can arise. This highway is an important communication axis between the provinces of Afghanistan and international communication with neighboring countries. This path is very important not only as a commercial and economic path, but also as a social and political communication path. The history of Afghanistan has had many wars and instabilities that have had a significant impact on the development and reconstruction of this highway. Work stoppages occurred due to unrest and security problems. Thank you for watching until the next video.